Hello, TrainFan44 here, and welcome to my review of Professor Bernie Summerfield Beyond the Sun, the second. Is it second? Yes, it is second. The second audio in the Bernie Summerfield series, adapted from the Bernie Summerfield book of the same name. Yeah, I'll start with the cover. It's quite, quite simple, it's got two uh, fairly bald people in suits on the rock, and then a swirly thing in the background. Got a uh, Bernie Summerfield Beyond the Sun. Quite simple. The covers back, they hadn't quite got into really detailed covers. I think this was before Tom Webster and stuff, before we had epic covers like the one on the Wall Doctor, when I cannot stop looking at that. Got the, uh, the casting synopsis. I'm not going to read the synopsis because I think it's called synopsis. Forgive me if I forget I said that wrong. Because it, they, have, they haven't quite gotten the, the habit of shortening them yet. Yeah, I'll go into it. So it's got 1.2 there, and to be honest, and I can't, I can't fit that into the screen. Uh, disc one. Oh, it's also here. I can. They keep changing where they open. I got uh, advertisements for the other ones and some novels, which I will be getting, and they will be part of this, the review series as well. And this too is it, is it identical? Oh, let's put all that back. Yada yada yada, and oops. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, I I enjoyed this one. Again, again it's I found it uh, quite entertaining. I think I think this does it. Uh, this introduces um, uh, Jason Kane in, into the series as well as as Bernie Summerfield's ex husband. And um, I, I, it's it's a good episode. I enjoy it's good. I, I enjoy his character. I, I what what thing what I like most about this is that because they are uh, spoilers if they end, they end up on another planet where the culture. It's completely different. Well, not completely different. The people are certainly the same apart from... I think they're the same. It's, it's hard to tell on audio. I think these are like two of the natives of the planet. But they don't... They don't like, ha ha have possessions like we do. Like we have like our shelves, our CDs. They don't. They just sort of take willy-nilly what they want, I think. It's, it's an interesting story. I... Can't, I I I was going to go. I am. I need to t start trying to do this. Going to acting a bit more. I'll bit as I look at the um. Oh no, that's the same old fun, isn't it? Yeah. So, still get still new to this. Yeah. Um, Lisa Bowman as Benny Benny Summerfield. Once again, I, I enjoyed her character. Sophie Older. I can't remember exactly what the character was. I think it might be Miranda. But yeah, it sounded a bit like East to me. But that's probably just because it's her voice. A bit like. In uh, oh no, it isn't you? You, you could tell, it, it, even though it was Wolsey's character, he still sounds like the Brigadier because that's what he is. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, Anika Wills. I couldn't pinpoint her character. I haven't heard much of Anika Wills' character. I haven't watched much of the classic gear. I've only got like a few second and first Doctor audio, not uh, D TV stories. I haven't finished my collection yet. And only and I don't think I've got any with her as um in, in audio, but it I it was a good story. I just, I'm, I'm repeating myself, aren't I? Yeah, I I look forward to listening to more of these. All the all the acting I thought was good. Uh, it was very, it was very interesting to see different um a different way of living. Like they live in a completely different way. Uh. Uh, they all sleep just in one big pile from what I sounds of it, whereas we want our privacy. They they seem to like shave their heads. I think like two of the characters that Be Benny had, they sort of after been there a while, they start to mingle and become more like them. And forgive me if I get any information wrong as well. Cause it's been a few days since I listened to it. But yeah, I, I I did it set anything up at the end. I don't think so. Oh yeah, that's another point. This is. I'm not sure if it's the thing. The mu a, a bit of music, like dun 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 dun, dun something like that. It sounds like the theme. Uh, well, I can only assume to be the theme song for Bernie Sunfield. But from what I can tell, it, only, it seemed to pop up in just random places. I mean, they they they, they were able to end the disc off with, with that bit of music. I liked it a bit better than just stopping there, like they did in Oh No, Isn't. And I. Th I 
but it, it doesn't really seem how it doesn't seem to like start an episode, finish an episode. It just seems to happen. Emma Swanson is like, is it like a scene change? I'm not sure. I'm I'm I can't say. But it, I really do enjoy this. It, the the Ben the Ben Stanfield audios are a good series. I enjoy the series. Um, at the moment, I th- I'm, again, I'm st- I'm sorry if you don't if my reviews aren't very good. I'm still getting used to it. I'm still working on my way of reviewing things. Uh, what's the next one? I can't remember what the what I can't read what the um next one is. Hold on a second, I can't read it from half this far away. Walking to is it Babylon? I think I think so. It's either walking to Babylon or walking to Babylon, and Babylon sounds a bit better. Yeah, that would be the next review in this series. Don't know when that's going to be, but remember we've got the uh, next episode of the Virgin Territories review series on Wednesday. I'll be listening to that on either man- yeah Wednesday. I'll listen to it on either Monday or Tuesday, we'll call it. Uh, and that'll be the novel adaptions. Oh, no, it isn't. So, thank you for, thank you for watching. Dreamfan44, out.